Hey Luke here with catsandcarp.com and me and my boy Tom here, we're gonna show you six catfish baits that you can make at home using ingredients from the grocery store. All right, so let me show you my recipes. There's six great recipes that use a lot of the same ingredients. So there's six different versions of kind of the same type of recipe so that you can mix and match different ingredients for whatever works best for you. A common theme to all of these recipes is meat and chicken is one of my favorites. I can use frozen chicken, expired chicken, freezer burned chicken. Some people really like to use rotten chicken and it all works really good. Fresh chicken, um, especially if it's just after the expiration date, a few days is probably my favorite because it's not too raunchy to work with and the fish seem to like it. But the key is whatever you're using, chop it up to the right size. About one inch square cubes is the ideal size for the fish I catch. I've got a one aught circle hook or a two aught circle hook. That one inch cube fits just perfectly on there. It's a nice by size little morsel. And you wanna hook it so that there's plenty of hook point exposed but no dangly bits, okay? If there's dangly bits like this, a piece like this isn't good because the fish will grab the dangly bits and just strip it off the hook. And you don't want a piece that's so big that the hook point gets buried. You'll gut hook fish, you'll lose a lot of fish. So one inch cube is perfect. So this is my first recipe. Take uh, some of these one inch cubes and some strawberry jello. Strawberry is probably my favorite flavor. And mix the jello powder with the cubes and then add a couple healthy dashes of garlic powder. That's it, super simple. Shake it up in a bag like this. You'll see it'll be kind of powdery. Um, in a few hours, it'll start to get a syrup going. Just leave it in the fridge when you're not using it and it'll last for weeks. Um, after three days, this is what it looks like. The, the jello draws the moisture out of the chicken and makes it really tough. And you'll get this wonderful color and flavor and the whole thing turns pink. Um, great, great stuff. So here's another version of, of this recipe. Uh, using another flavor I like, island pineapple. So I take some chicken chunks, put in uh, one of the small bags of island pa uh, pineapple, mix it all up, and this is where it gets a little different. Instead of adding garlic, I add vanilla, uh, imitation vanilla, which has alcohol in it. Catfish and a lot of other fish like alcohol. Um, this is made with vodka, actually. And so a little uh, vanilla extract or imitation vanilla, mix it in there. The chicken won't get as tough, but it'll get this vanilla alcohol flavor that the catfish like. So here's another version. Just take some chicken chunks and instead of jello, use Kool-Aid. You can use any flavor you want, grape, cherry. Those are really great. I'm using cherry here. You mix it in and sprinkle it around. It works great, a very deep color, very strong. Uh, the the, the Kool-Aid powder is more pungent than the jello powder. Uh, it won't dry out the meat and toughen it up as much as the jello will, but it'll still do it a little bit. So here's another uh, version. Uh, this time I'm using uh, Berry Blue. Uh, grapes, another flavor I like that I didn't use in this video, but uh, uh, Berry Blue works good. And it makes a really funky, uh, fun color too. So it's, it's a good one. But shake it up, get it all going. And instead of garlic, I'm using a commercial product from uh, Procure Baits. And this is a fish oil and garlic scent. You can also use uh, anise oil and a lot of other different uh, flavors you can buy off the shelf. But mix it in there. Now it's got this garlicky, fishy, a oily smell on top of the jello and the jello will toughen up that chicken. But you don't have to use chicken. You can use a lot of other things. Hot dogs is a really popular bait. Um, it catches a lot, of, uh, a lot of catfish here and just once again you want about one inch long chunks. That seems to be about the perfect size. Here I've got three packs of cherry Kool-Aid. Mix it in and that's it. Super easy. Now, I love using shad and bluegill and bait fish uh, for catfish, but that's not always an option. So if you're in that situation, this is a super easy recipe. It's cheap, it's simple. Here's another one, can of Spam. It's a great bait, and it's, you can just keep it in your tackle box because it just lasts forever. And chop it up, once again, into about one inch cubes, and you can use it instead of chicken or hot dogs. And the great thing is because it's in a can, you can just kind of keep it in your car or, or in your bag whenever you're ready to use it. Just 
pull the tab on the bank, open it up, and you're ready to go. Add some jello, and you're off to the races. And it works really well. And you can use any combination of these recipes and see what works for you and see what works in your area. days uh, my GoPro mounts have all broken except for the selfie stick so we're gonna film this entire video with the selfie stick see how that goes but uh, at any rate got my chicken here and uh, we're gonna see if we can't catch something hey, uh -huh. I don't know about this spot All righty, so there we go. Oh, my selfie stick's breaking. Look, it's all wiggling. Oh. I'm the ghost of fishing rods. The ghost of fishing rods. Ooh, yeah. I'm the ghost of fishing rods in here, Daddy. Ah. You want to reel them in? Sure. Okay. Sorry. Here, let me get the rod for you. Yeah, you are. All right, Tom. Yeah. Come in, reel him in. Re oh. Reel him in. You got him? I just pulling a rod. Tip. Come on, Tom. You got to reel it. Use your. You got to use the reel. I'm just going. Back. Okay, here. You got. You got to reel it, buddy. Oh, well, well, okay. Oh. Oh. Yep. Okay. Well, I didn't bring my net, so alley oop in the boat. Did I bring your net? Oh, yeah, I forgot the net. Oh, he's pooping. Oh, he is pooping. <laughs> Ugh. He can find some bomb on. He got a bomb on. He got yeah. a, a bomb on. He got a bomb on. So, he liked the chicken. Chicken and jello. So, we've been in this spot about three minutes and we already got one hit on the chicken and jello and garlic. So, not bad. Anyway, I better get him back. You want to throw him back? If you like that video, check out Fishing with Mashed Potatoes and my Crazy Catfish Bait Challenge. We put out new videos every week, so don't forget to click subscribe.